Alright guys, welcome to your 13th biology tutorial, and in this tutorial, now that we understand the basics of what a DNA molecule is made up of, and we understand what nucleic acid is, what I want to do is I want to take a closer look at this silly little thing called DNA. Now like I said in the last video, DNA is probably the most famous nucleic acid. Let me just go ahead and write this. It feels like it should be written at the top. And it's pretty much made up of two strands of nucleotides one on the left, one on the right, and it's arranged so it looks like a twisted ladder. However, whenever I drew it right here, I drew it as an untwisted ladder because it's easier to show what I'm going to show right now. And that's it, that these separate sections, or I know I probably didn't circle exactly where I needed to, but separate sections of the DNA molecule are called genes. And that's spelled G-E-N-E-S, not J. E A N S. That's a different type of genes. But anyways, the job of a gene is basically to carry the genetic information and pass the information onto, if it's a human, of course, your kids or you know the next generation, whatever your offspring may be, whatever kind of animal or plant you are. Now, a cool thing is that genes are also the blueprint for proteins. Okay, so what do I heck, what the heck do I mean by blueprint because I know that they don't make up proteins because we know amino acids are the so-called building blocks of proteins that's what proteins are made up of but I just said genes are the blueprint for proteins however if we're building a house we know that a house is built of bricks and it has a blueprint to tell you how to build it and that's basically what DNA does it tells you how the amino acids should be strung together and what order they go in whenever they make a protein. So basically, uh, let me pick a color and summarize this stuff. Uh, oh crap, I shouldn't have picked orange. Let's get yellow. So nucleotides, which remember are those three ingredients, they make something called nucleic acid. And the most famous nucleic acid is what we're looking at right here, D, N, a and nucleic acid is pretty much the blueprint for proteins remember it's not the ingredient because proteins are made up of amino acids but this blueprint tells the amino uh, the, oh. okay Bucky take a deep breath it, it pretty much determines the order that the amino acids are arranged whenever they do make proteins Okay, fair enough. So uh, what else do I got to talk about? Um, oh yeah, I guess um, I probably should mention this. You guys are like, okay, so if every nucleotide is made up of the same stuff and every nucleotide makes DNA, then wouldn't it mean that it pretty much made the same blueprint? Well, the thing is, whenever your nucleotides or nucleic acid is formed, they're made in different ways. And actually, each of these genes are paired with another one and the order that they are paired together pretty much determines what kind of protein that they make and which protein it produces determines what the job of the protein is going to be. So basically DNA makes different types of proteins and depending on exactly how that protein is made determines what it does in your body. And a uh, cool little information that I guess isn't that cool because it's kind of sad actually. Sometimes uh, the wrong type of proteins are made and whenever they do, uh, whenever your body makes the wrong type of proteins, it can develop some diseases like cancer and obviously it messed up because cancer is not a very good thing. But hopefully through all of my writing you guys understand a little bit about genes, which just think of it as a piece of DNA. And you guys know that DNA is responsible, it's basically the blueprint for telling the amino acids how to join together and make a protein. So I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm probably going to go eat some string cheese. But thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.